Jeez, man, I had to turn on creative safe mode because that could have got me out the paint fast as fuck. Or not. I never even tried. Would it matter? Should I risk it? I'm going to risk it. Fuck is not going to tell me what to do. Anyways, we're playing WWE 2K23. My Rise. Now, we're going to try the themes. We're going to test the waters in episode one. And if I need to, I'll cut that uh, creator safe on. But I don't think I would be bad, right? Without wasting any time, let's go in. Everyone's rise through WWE is different, but it all starts in the same way. Standing backstage in front of a single curtain, the only thing that separates you from the WWE universe in the moment that would change your life forever, your WWE debut. For some, it means stepping in front of a crowd that immediately erupts and chants your name. Guys, it's Bailey! Expectations placed upon you before you even step foot in the ring. For others, it means trying to make the best first impression to those who have no idea who you are. Some will find a clear path to the top. While others may take a few steps back before they figure out how to move forward. Because how you start doesn't always determine how you finish. Who you eventually align with. Or who you ultimately discover you really are. After that moment, the choices you make can send your career different directions and have the potential to change the makeup of the WWE universe forever. But that's getting ahead of things. Everyone's rise through WWE is different. But it all starts the same way. Standing backstage in front of a single curtain. What happens next? It's up to you. That was a cool intro. That was a very cool intro. I ran through this, you know, essentially the legacy is a second generation superstar and the lock is like, he's just a regular dude. I didn't pick one yet, so I'm gonna use this to choose. Eventually. We're gonna do the lock. He's the next big thing. He's been a dominant force around the world. He's a future world champion. He's can't miss. He's the main event. He's a lock. 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 I am the lock. The lock coming to Raw. That's crazy. I already got what I'm gonna do in mind, so uh, give me a sec. All right, so I didn't get his face perfect, but his face ain't bad. I think I did good. Ladies, gentlemen, I want y'all to meet Jay Esco. He was brought in to the Performance Center by Coochie Man himself. I can't really get into where Coochie Man went, but long story short, he's not with the WWE no more. But before he left, he brought them a prodigy. That prodigy name was the Grim Reaper, Jay Esco. This give you the Rainmaker? Hell yeah! What's this? Slice bread? The Salida del Sol, Spear, Batista Bomb. We go for a gore, nigga. I get paybacks. Cool. What's the paybacks? I want Move Thief, and for my second one, I don't want Comeback. I want Resiliency. It's gonna come in handy. I'm satisfied. You cannot edit your body type once you. Yeah, I don't care about that. Let's go. Oh shit. I am so close to having this title renamed in my honor. Can you imagine? The Sammy Continental Championship <laughs> has a nice ring to it if you ask me. Mm. All I have to do is defend it tonight and WWE will have no choice but to give in to popular demand and make the change. You think so? I have no idea who I'm facing, but it doesn't matter. I am going to beat whoever it is, and you will never, ever see the Intercontinental Championship again. Wait a second. They literally got me in a vault. We've been seeing and hearing about this person for weeks. Could this be the long-awaited debut of the lock? I'm not sure what or who else it could be. The Rock has arrived on Raw! 
What the fuck do they have me wearing? I look like a behemoth with chains on. I'm so lost. Like, what's happening, yo? Yeah! Can the lock live up to all the hype? We're about to find out. My first match is a IC championship match on an episode of Raw. For sure. Welcome down. Yeah. So it's nice to see Sami Zayn as the Intercontinental Champion in this world. Boop, 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 boop. Come here. I'm not digging this gimmick at all. The lock is a terrible gimmick. Damn. Yo, yo, chill out. He whooping my ass, yo. Yeah, fuck. Damn. All right. Fuck off, me, nigga. Get up. Here we go, bitch. My earring skills is too good for me to be doing some bullshit. Into a drop kick. Yo, some things never change. Damn. Oh, me. Damn. You chill out, chill out, son. What are you doing? Get off me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just too fast, man. Sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Get him in the corner. I'm beating his ass, but I still haven't done the objective. That's just bullying at this point. This is your Intercontinental Champ. Okay. Damn. Stupid ass. There we go. Sammy just beat me. What the hell? Damn. Oh my god. It's a string of shit. But guess what? I'm back the fuck up. Oh shit. This nigga is firing up, yo. Chill out. Chill out. No! Fuck, man. Damn. He he definitely getting the best of me right now. Whoa! No! I'm broke, bitch. Whoa! He gonna go for the pin. No! No, I kicked out, I kicked out! I kicked out, but I kicked out, bro. Much, much later. Yo, run right into this. 
Wow. Wow. Get your ass. Get your ass speared. That's game. Good lord. The boy bleeding. Somebody get him some help. I think we all owe the lock of thank you for that. First night on the job, Intercontinental Champion. I'm about to live up to my. Oh, what the hell? Son. Dang. Good elbow. Sammy goes head first into the side of the safe. Wait, what's he doing? going to lock up Sammy. Yes, do it. Into the safe. We might never have to see Sammy again. Thank you. That's my gimmick. He's going to send Sammy for a ride. Stop, stop. That's enough. And the safe goes crashing down. Oh, my God. That's so goofy. I beat niggas asses and then locked them in a vault. It's a pretty crazy gimmick. It's a pretty kinky gimmick if you ask me. Five hours earlier. There he is. Ready for your big raw debut tonight? It's Sean. Can't wait to get out there. Good. We can't wait either. This has been a long time coming, and you've earned it. Thanks. Hey, what's up with the camera? She's been following me around since I got here. Oh, talent relations didn't tell you? It's for this documentary thing they're shooting on you. Sorry, I'm terrible with names. It's Kat, right? Yep, Kat with a K, K-A-T. Sorry I didn't introduce myself earlier, but when I'm shooting these, I gotta be a fly on the wall. You're going to be seeing a lot of Kat over the next year. Got to document the rise of the next big thing. The future world champion. The Lock. All right. Sorry. Fly on the wall. I've been meaning to talk to you about that whole The Lock thing, by the way. I, can I just use the name I've used my entire career? I mean, that's how the rest of the world knows me. Yeah. But that's not how the WWE Universe knows you. We can't assume they've seen any of your matches before this. I think a lot of people have. Isn't that how WWE found me? Look, this is typical for superstars who come up outside the system. WWE likes to put their spin on things, and 99% of the time, it's a huge improvement. Okay, but doesn't the name sound too much like The Rock? It sort of does. Do you mind? Think of this as a new and improved version of yourself. We have a proven track record with this sort of thing. You just need to trust the process. Is that what you're required to say now that you're office? No. Corporate requires me to say and do a lot of things, but that's not one of them. I don't know. It feels restrictive. I just want to be myself. I hear you. But it's not just a nickname. The entire WWE machine is behind this. We have a huge entrance planned with Pyro, a championship opportunity, new gear. <laughs> They're shooting this whole documentary about you. And we got this for you, too. Get it? A lock? <laughs> is that left over from John Cena's chain gang days? Maybe. Things worked out okay for him, didn't they? Because he found so, his own gimmick. Run. But I promise, this is going to be fine. Just trust the process, and it'll all work out. Because remember, you're the lock. It still sounds lame, bro. I appreciate it, Sean, but it still sounds lame. You stick that camera in my face the whole time. Goddamn, bro. 
We good here, or...? Yep, got what I needed. That's a cut. Week two on Ra. Let's see what they have in store for me. Can't be any crazier than last week, right? Hey! I didn't get the chance to say hi last week. Who that the hell are you? you? Thanks, Gabriel. Gabriel? Uh, call me Gabe. Excuse me, Gabe, can you turn to camera and introduce yourself? Seriously? I've been in WWE for 10 years. <laughs> I think whoever's huh? watching will know who I am. We probably won't use this, but just in case. Fine. I'm Gabriel Slade. Three-time U.S. champion, two-time intercontinental <gasps> champ, multi-time tag champion, and all-around good guy. Does that work? Thanks. Anyway, just wanted to welcome you to WWE. I know it can be hard sometimes for people to get acclimated here. It's going okay so far, but yeah, it's a bit of an adjustment since I didn't come up through the Performance Center. Or even work the U.S. scene much before this. Okay. Well, let me give you some quick tips to fit in. Make sure you fist bump and or shake everyone's hand every time you see them. Mm -hmm. Be willing to give up your first class seat if there are veterans and coach. And uh, never sneeze around the big boss. Never. Mm -hmm. well, I don't want to overwhelm you, but if you ever need any help or advice, I got your back. <laughs> I think I'm good, but thanks. All right. Later, luck. Call me champ. Okay, champ. That was a good dry run. Now, let's do another take without the interruption from the Raw Welcoming Committee. <laughs> Jeez, no wonder that guy has never really made it. Too friendly. You know, why she hating on man? Gabe is trying to be a good guy. I mean, these tights look ass. I ain't gonna count, but it is what it is. This is the My Rise Hub. You can discover new story opportunities from here by talking to people within this hub or by replying to posts and DMs in your social media feed. It's just like last year, essentially. So I don't really need to. Uh, oh, shit. Well, you will notice icons next to the superstars in the hub. These icons will tell you whether talking to them can launch you into a must play story, optional story or a challenge match. Hmm. OK, that's new. See, I was about to talk shit about how it's just like last year, but. Okay, that's new. If you want to go through the main path quickly, you only need to focus on the must play stories. But it is recommended to try to play all types of stories as they present new pathways and rewards that you wouldn't get otherwise. If you are ready to move on with the main story, entering an available story gate will accomplish this. However, once you enter a story gate, you will not be able to go back and play any optional stories or challenge matches you may have missed. All right, that's fair. So, Sami Zayn and a neck brace all right Corey klein oh my god hey it's been it's been forever maylee fanny fan it's a crazy name i'm not gonna count it's the boy gabe let's talk to gabe hey champ long time no see you here to cash in on some more tips from a certified locker room vet actually i think i'm good for now all right well like i said if you ever need advice, or even if you just forgot your flip flops for the shower, I'm here for you. For sure. Appreciate it, Gabe. Got it. All right, Sammy. We'll hear what you have to say. Wow. Look who it is. Sammy, what happened to your neck? Don't get cute with me. You know exactly what happened. I had no idea who I was facing, and as a result, I lost, suffering emotional and physical damages after you assaulted me with that safe. I am going to sue you for everything you're worth. I'd rather take you on in the ring than in the courtroom, but it doesn't look like you're in any condition to do that. No, I'm not, thanks to you and your shenanigans. But maybe we can work something out. Like what? I won't sue under the following conditions. First, when I'm ready, I get a rematch for my title. Okay. And second, you no longer use the safe as part of your entrance as it will cause further emotional distress, putting me at an unfair disadvantage. Oh, God. I actually already told management I was done with the safe. Anyway, just let me know when you're ready to lose to me again. I will, but it won't be a loss for me. And in the meantime, I have one other condition to prevent legal action. First, you must face my hand-picked opponent so I can rest up and do some extra scouting. Okay. Sure. 
Who do you want me to go up against? Oh, you'll find out in the ring. Not a great feeling when you don't know who you're facing, is it? Good luck. I guess you got me there, huh? The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Charleston, South Carolina, weighing in at 215 pounds. The WWE Intercontinental Champion, the Grim Reaper. I don't know why this fit just looks so, so weird. It's just the simple trunks, tape, knee pads, and boots. I guess I'm just not rocking with the chain. The chain is just throwing everything off. But I'm the lock. I must commit. Ridge Holland. Where did he find this nigga? Just laying around? Damn. It's a thick fucking staff you got there. Pause. You wanna lock up? We can lock up. Bitch! How does that feel? Yeah. Ah, 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 ah. Get up. See, I don't know what you thought this was. Hey, yo, son. They call him Ridge the Fridge. It's a crazy name, I ain't gonna lie. Damn. But you get off me, son. Oh, shit. God. Alright. Got his ass this time. Spin him. Bitch. Yeah, my lock. This was all a setup to weaken the Intercontinental Champion before he faces Sami Zayn. He's going to get the save. Damn. Some kind of revenge for what happened when the lock debuted. The nigga is stomping me out. Calling the shots. Nothing is off limits. But Jay, fight back. Damn. Good fucking lord. Damn. Damn. <laughs> they got this shit. <laughs> oh my god. Son, what? What the lock did to Sammy. Our Intercontinental Champion is going to be seriously injured. This is bad. Especially with both of them pushing it now. Son, what oh, is happening? Gabriel Slade is it's there. Gabe! He's going to put an end to this. Yeah, Sammy and Ridge want no part of him. Well, no idea if these two are friends. Maybe Slade just didn't want to see someone get squashed. Well, Locke certainly looks frustrated with himself. Or Gabriel Slade. Or maybe all of the above. He should just be happy he's walking out of here on his own two feet. And Dang, Gabe was trying to help. Why is he mad at Gabe? What's happening? I don't blame you, Gabe. I appreciate you for coming out to help me when I was getting my ass whooped all up and down the arena. You know, I appreciate it. How did it feel to have your life flash before your eyes? Probably not great, especially since your life has been pathetic and worthless, unlike mine's. Glad you're feeling better. But you and your goon should have taken me out when you had the chance. Now you're going to pay. Hey. You okay? It was almost really bad. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for the assist, but I'm fine. It might not have looked like it, but I had things under control out there. Oh, so you just got the captain from Coochie Man too, huh? That's just that's a lesson in in the school, huh? Really? It looked more like you were about to get flattened by a thousand pounds safe. The respect you wanted to handle your own business, but I meant it when I told you I'd have your back. For sure. Look, let's get this straight. I like to do things on my own. It's gotten me this far. Jesus, man. What is it? Calm down. Take it from someone who's been here a while. That's not going to cut it in WWE. And whether you want my help or not, 
I heard we're teaming together next week against Sammy and Ridge Holland. Fine. I guess we can team up for one night. What is the harm in having one tag team match, bro? Do you want to talk strategy or anything? I'll see you in the ring next week. I ain't making it weird, bro. Just go in the we'll, we'll do it when it's time. You want to talk strategy right now, bro. I'm going. After facing Sami Zayn and Ridge next week on Raw, Esco will get to choose how he defends his Intercontinental Championship against Sami Zayn. Seriously? Why? The guy ambushed me, steal my title, now he's calling the shots, and how he gets to defend it? I'm going to have to look into pursuing legal action again, this time against Shawn Michaels in the WWE. Hashtag IC privilege. Hashtag justice for Sami. Sami Zayn, get off your phone and get to the goddamn ring. This isn't it. I should do the same. There has been many, many Intercontinental Champions in WWE history. I have to be at the bottom tier with this goddamn lock gimmick. Why does he move like Kenny King? <laughs> Why does he move like Kenny King? I mean, he has a cool entrance. I'm not gonna cap. He's m much better than Paragon J. Pierce. This is dead ass Kenny King's entrance. What a character this Sam Zane is. I'm not gonna cap. Look at him. He's just having fun to the ring. Too bad when he get in this ring, I'm about to hand him his ass. Listen, I have no problem with Rich Holland, but son, I've never seen this nigga without the brawling boots. What is he doing just scraggling around on Raw? Where's the rest of the brawling boots? Sheamus, where's Butch? Where's Butch? What are we doing here? Good lord. Come here. Bitch. Get off me. Damn. No. Damn. Damn. All right, here we go. You thought you was escaping me, nigga? Yo, he's trying to get this match over with quick. Get your hands off of me. Oh, are we finna end it early? Bitch. Oh my God. Oh, he's about to put in Ridge the fridge. Gabe, Gabe. Ah. He thought you was slick. Damn. Hey, Gabe cooking. You look, he got the moveset. Oh, my God. Yo, this nigga Gabe got the moves. What? All right. All right. This man Gabe is insane. This man Gabe is insane. the lock back in this bitch. Yo, son, what are you doing? I was going to get the lock back in this bitch. Perfect. Let me get the lock back in this bitch. Ayo, Sammy. Bitch. <laughs> Damn. Gabe, get his ass. Yeah. Here we go. No, damn it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Damn. No. Why are we thugging? No. But I got him there. <laughs> Damn. Damn. I'm going too crazy right now. Spare. That's done. Get him out of it. Ridge. It's not that serious, bro. Ridge, come on, son. Get up. Get up, man. Reno <sighs> Mega. Get your ass down. Get your bitch ass down. I'm getting sick of you. And that's how you do it. That was a crazy match. All right, don't gas us up now. Don't gas us up too much. So these interviews for the doc will be quick and easy. It's just like we're having a conversation. I've seen these before. I get it. Okay, good. So a lot to catch up on. You debuted on Raw, won the IC title, almost got squashed by a half ton safe, but then were rescued by an unlikely ally in Gabriel Slade. Yeah. I appreciated the assist, but I wouldn't go as far as to say we're allies okay let's not get hung up on semantics nonetheless Sami Zayn was not happy that Shawn Michaels gave you the choice of how you'll defend your intercontinental championship is there any merit to Sami's complaints I know I'm new here but I also know that Sami Zayn will find a way to complain about anything right that's true I once heard him complain that the production crew's box dinners were bland and uninspired really oh, okay that was me but you get the idea. Anyway, what's your choice for the rematch against Sammy? And give me some flavor, if you don't mind. Is there any way I can put a TLC? A ladder match will work fine. Sammy wants to talk about privilege. Well, he's going to have the privilege of having a 10-foot ladder jammed down his throat. Oh, my Ooh, God. Mic drop. The locks for his ladder match. Yo, son. All right. Damn. You thought you was going to get off that shit clean. Give me this shit. Damn. Damn, on the ladder. The ladder is crazy, I'm not gonna lie. Absolutely not. Can he unhook it? Get you out of your goddamn mind. Questionable timing of this move, Cole. Oh my gosh. And he hits me with the halluva kick. That nigga's insane. Come on, bro. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Not so fun when the rapper got the gun, huh? While you climb up and down ladders, you're not supposed to leap off of them. Look at this. That ladder is positioned perfectly. Hey, guess what? Hey, guess what, son? No. Come here. What? I fucking reversed, but he still gets it off on me. You son. This game is so rigged. Get up. Son, please get up, bruh. Got 
got you again on the ladder. It is a war. There's no way this nigga got up that fast, bro. Sell the move. <laughs> that is how you win a, a grueling ladder match, son. That's how you win. Credit to Sammy. Sammy put me through hell, but you know, there's not much to it than that. I think this is a good stopping point. In our first episode, we won the Intercontinental Champion, engaged in a feud with Sami Zayn, and had a ladder match. Also had our first pay-per-view. Shot to the moon, baby. Shot to the fucking moon. If you like this video, like the video, subscribe, share this motherfucker, and tell the person you shared it with to do the exact same thing. Hopefully things go a lot smoother than they did here. I don't have to fight nobody for a fucking hour like I did Sami Zayn. But hey. That's neither here nor there. Um, Esco. That's Hickenbottom. And we'll catch you guys on the next episode. Peace. Don't worry about my business, I handle it. I took a watch off this avalanche. I take his ass off, I don't give a damn. He'll get parked if he's a middleman. I hit him so shit, he can't live again. Do that job by myself for that hitman.